Hi, welcome back. In our last video, we show the car model list. Now, here instead of displaying the brand ID, I want to display the brand name. So, we have to easily define. So, how to join the table? We'll discuss. Let's go to our project. So, select all from model. See, you have to write inner join. You have to write inner join. Inner join. You have to write inner join. That is must. Inner join. In a join brand, okay, brand we are join in a join brand on that use on keyword on uh, brand as id so brand as id brand table as id the same id which will be available in the model table which called as brand id brand id that's it that's the thing number Okay, this is how we have to join two tables. Okay, you have to join two tables look like this here. Right, so here we have to write like this here. Uh, brand, it's a model table. So it's a model table. So brand table as ID, this ID, the same ID which will be available as a foreign key as model table which called as a foreign key. Okay, in, in, in order to make the relationship. So I have to write model in a join brand brand table there is id we are equal to model table brand ID. that's the thing you have to do right now how to make the relationship here data now we, we both table we have joined it we can get the uh, data from the model table as well as a brand table we have linked two tables all together so how to get it we have to write here the name we have to write we have to display the name where it's a brand name you have to display the brand name. It's a brand name. It's a model name. So here, first one which uh, model name. You have to write the model name instead of the model. We have to write as a model name. Okay, here the new join. Here is the model table. You have to display the model name. After that, instead of the brand table, brand ID. You have to display the brand ID. So dot i brand name. Okay, this table name. Okay, this table name. This brand name instead of the ID. Brand name to be displayed. Right, that's the ID should become which table? Model table. Model dot ID. This is an efficient way to write the program. Write the same thing. You have to write it copy. This model. This ID also you have to put it here. Model ID. That's the thing you have to write. Now let's execute the program and check. Right now, here you can see here slash car model list. You have rather list list of item. Now, let's see here instead of the brand, right now it will display the brand. Okay, it's the brand that should be displayed here. It's working perfectly well. Okay, you will be able to see it's perfectly well. Now, here we have we have made the joint quarries successfully. We have made the joint quarries. It's very simple way to make the joint quarry. Now I hope you have understood the so far as well. Now let's continue the things of another thing, car. Right, car. We have come to the car table. Right, we have a, we made the already the registration page of the car. Okay, you already see the registration page. We already added one record of the car, I think. Uh, car title, description, year and price and uh, the car model and member. So these are the things we have to make the uh, model ID and members. We have to load it, right? Okay. So here member also the registration part. Okay. We have created the member also as well, right? Now what you're going to do is same thing. What I did is in our brand car model. Okay. We already done the that particular part. The list box how to load the data. The same thing. I just copied. You don't do again by again that's very boring you just copy this particular same code we have to reuse and change what the thing we need okay according to the situation we will be able to change so back to where the car dot jsp page here we have to load the models what are the models we are added so here the selection 
we have done the selection right so selection we no need there is a model id it's model id we have changed as a sort of brand id or change as model id that's the only thing we have to need after that we have to get rid of the select statement the select statement is there this one we have to alt press enter key we have to select the class this one also alt press enter key this one also alt press enter key it will be managed to all the classes alt press enter key right everything the class will be created alt press enter alt press enter press press on the alt key press enter key on your keyboard all the classes will be solved all the problems right now here select all from not a brand you have to display model you have to select the model of the class you have to model so again model which will it will be selected as a model name as a model name will be selected right okay now let's execute and check whether it's working fine or not now let's so far we have to whatever did it we let's check it whether it's working fine or not now let's go and check it there car so car.jsp page not a model car.jsp page now here you will be able to see honda one here the, all the cars should be whatever car model you added all the model should be displayed so the data will be coming from the from the database successfully after that we have to load the members right what are the members you have added we have to load the members right so we are let's go back to our members table column we have to this is a member column you have to select all so added only one member just the one member have added so what you have added one member so what you are going to do is here i'm going to go to uh here we have to load the member data uh, so let's same thing same selection table you just the selection select the statement copy it here or here your space below select here this one also you have to select as member id you have to get rid of these lines here we have to make the object name we have to different name here use con1 this one so xql41 because the same name we have given above so that we have to this object we have to change it here right so after that the prepare statement one this is a preparation result statement we have to we just change one one right so this time not a model table some member table member the same thing member name okay this it has a name member name we have to display right only one name should be there this one also we have to load and check it car.jsp uh, I got the error I want to see build the code what's the error of that error exception car.jsp the line is here you have to read the error error is coming from result set here yeah. the result set there should be the error uh, here result so the result set one I have changed as result set one that's the problem here this is a result set you have changed this here this here result set one you have changed that result set one that would be the error right now again you have to run it okay you just read the error there are many students who ask me on the command they are never read the error okay that this is simple is smelling mistake okay you just read the error then only you will be get the solution for it okay if you have again again you have to ask me you never learn programming so that you have to learn it Right, so here we have to car.jsp. Now let's check it. Now here the error has been gone. Member also writes, or the member also, what I did here is uh, so some member, uh, what is display some results at one. The problem is SQL query, SQL query 1. 
the SQL code one. That's why. Okay, so I change the SQL code one. That's a problem, right? It's a SQL code one, right? It's a prepare statement. This prepare statement it's one to execute, right? So that's a problem, right? Okay, the SQL early SQL mean this. What are the query are written here? That name should be. It will be appearing on that on that particular uh, drop down. Okay, so you have to run it the correct statement. Okay, then it will be it would be fine. Car dot JSON. Okay, I will be tell you the easiest way. Don't worry, this one little bit confused here. Remember, it's this way successfully. The easiest way, simply. Okay, this is one little bit complicated. You have to make that two connection. You have to get one connection. Okay, so you have to get it here. Copy it. You have to paste it above. Anyway, the code. Anyway, uh, we just give the code over here as well. Paste it here. Connection DB. This is the main connection. You will be. It will be. You can access anywhere. Right. The basic is here to add this connection object. And the same thing. You have to write the prepare statement object as well. Prepared statement. This one we have to return two prepare statement. Okay, we have two prepare. See, this is must. Okay, we the query should be we have to return two, one and two. Right, that's the thing we have to write. Uh, right, result set object you have to call this result set. You have to write RS. That's it. We have to commonly we have to write it here. Right now, simply you have to write this line. We no need them. Get rid of this line. Right uh, here also the SQL query. This one also we have to write it as a uh, single string. So here we don't need them. We have to put it separate. That is a uh, some problem, right? Okay. Here we have to write this one. We don't need them. Get rid of this line. SQL connection property. Prepare statement also we have written above. Prepare statement. So this one we have to we have to write it. PST. What's the object you have created? PST. Above I have created PST. Same thing you have created here. PST. Right? So simple. So it now here the code is easy. So the result set object also we have created above RS. Right? So we now need to write again RS. This one RS. Right? So this RS should be appearing here as well. RS. Here also RS. Otherwise you have to create. It makes too much complicated so uh, we already created this object commonly okay so here also member select all from member one this prepare statement we already created prepare statement ps2 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 t1 okay this one we have to copy again ps2 over here uh, here result set also we have to rest result set object here get rs 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 this one also rs right now first i have run and check it whether it's working fine, I'll be explaining very simple. Other, otherwise, it will be little bit confusing and everything to learn program. So that here it will be car. It's working here. Caronda is member should be working right. So, what I did here is we have to correct that. Okay, this all since we no need to add the prepare statement and connections, everything we have to get rid of these lines. Okay, so here instead of that, we have to write this asterisk mark or the class should be fine. SQL, it's very simple. These are the things you have to you must know about this one. After you make the connection object, prepare statement, prepare statement one. And to our subject. So after that, we have to call that particular. We have to write the SQL query string string variable. We have we have to write this model. We have to, we have to get all the data from the model and load it. And we have to check the prepare statement. The SQL of it. It will be checking whether the connection and query both are success. It will be get the data from the database and pass into the data into the relevant columns. The same thing here. It get the data from the model step the member table and it will be passing to the relevant drop down. That's the thing you put up. Right. I hope you guys you understood the things well. 
i'll see in my next video thank you